We are pleased to have with us today the winner of the Visis Prizes 2016 in category Cultural Diversity and Identity, Linguistic Diversity and Local Content. Coming from the United States of America, Bridge Africa and their project Connectivity is Productivity. What are the major objectives of your project? According to Google, there is more online content in the metropolitan area of Tokyo than the entire continent of Africa. So we know that there is a major content divide in the world that coincides with the general, general um, digital divide that you have where many people in the global south and particularly in Africa and countries like Cameroon have less access to the internet. And with that, there's also less content that people are creating because it can be expensive, people don't have access to the internet, and sometimes just feel intimidated about the process of creating content. So the purpose of our project and primary objective was to diversify content and to be able to create an application that could simplify the process of content creation. And we did this project in Cameroon where we connected more than 7,000 small and medium enterprises in particular. Pharmacies, um, people who are selling produce, um, crafts, men and women, etc. And so what we do through our application is allow them to create websites and also access a database by creating, by sending an SMS and or through the internet by creating a website directly through the internet. So we help them to overcome any digital barriers that they might have, like access to the internet. So to kind of shorten it up, if you're a pharmacist and you need a website, you can go to bridgeafrica.com and send a short text message and create a website. And at the same time, if you live within Cameroon, you can send a text message to get um, the phone number of that same pharmacy that's around you. So it works as a Yellow Pages database as well as a website. So we're kind of bridging between that, that life of people who have access to the internet and people who don't and allowing everyone, since mobile phone penetration in Africa is almost at 95%, in Cameroon it's at 95%, almost everybody has a phone and it may not be a smartphone, so just a simple handheld phone, anybody can access database information within the country and also send a text message. I think that we're the yelp.com meets week.com, weeks.com of the global south. How does your project contribute to the sustainable development? Well, in terms of the sustainable development goals, um, one of the main goals is to make um, the internet accessible to all. And we know that several research has been done that connects economic development with access to digitalization and the internet and also putting your content online. Because right now in 2016, it's almost like if you're not online, it's almost like you don't exist because there's so many economic and social um, barriers that you'll face as well as um, great benefits that one can have a part of being on the internet. So our project helps people to get on the internet despite the digital barriers that they have like access to the internet. Which would in addition help ending poverty. And it also helps to end poverty. Um, I think that it was um, many people from USAID and um, as well as President Obama who have made several statements about the connection of the eradication of poverty with digitalization. And um, I think it was strategy specifically that said that um, um, uh, the, the development of communities could happen within the billions contributing toward the GDP if more communities were to actually get online. So we know that there's a connection with being on the internet, having your content on the internet, and economic prosperity. Why are you committed to this process, including the VCIS Contest Prize? Wow, well I think that um, the internet has the possibility to help so many communities. Um, I particularly started Bridge Africa as a result of my position as a U.S. Fulbright Scholar to Cameroon. And um, from doing research and seeing the, the digital gaps that were there and also seeing how ICTs could be used to bring people together. And that's what the WECIS Forum is doing, is bringing together government stakeholders, private stakeholders, um, civil society organizations and just letting everybody come together so we get beyond just theory and looking at solutions and being a Weezy's Prize winner has been such an honor to me I'm so happy to be here in Geneva for the very first time um, so you know I, I, I just think it's 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 a great it's a great initiative and bringing all these people who care so much can only produce positive results Thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you so much, I Vladimir. I hope you will conti contri continue to contribute to the business process. Connectivity is productivity. Thank you. <laughs>